A new Shin Megami Tensei game will soon be coming to Western Shores, this being the updated re-release of 2010's Strange Journey for Nintendo DS. Titled Strange Journey Redux, the game will add a wide range of new content including voice acting, a new character, additional story content, a new ending, new demons, a new dungeon and updated visuals. SMT fans will be familiar with the premise of the game, which involves fighting demons and then getting them to join your side to be used in battle. The western release date was recently announced, and alongside this the US box art was unveiled. With this we have been able to see that a change was made to the US art compared to the original Japanese version. As you can see the game will be rated mature, however if you take a look at the Japanese art on the left you will be able to see that they removed the gun being pointed directly towards the viewer. Instead, Atlas have changed the art so that the female character is stretching out her open palm. Box art changes like these are very common. For instance, another Atlas game that we're releasing soon also had alterations made by Atlas outside of Japan. This being Dragon's Crown Pro, which covered up the skin of three female characters to make the artwork less suggestive. Box art censorship like this is something that Sensor Gaming has covered in the past, and like has been explained in previous videos, it's all due to the ESRB's principles and guidelines for responsible advertising practices. These are rules that publishers must follow when advertising games, and video game box art, which is of course stored on store shelves, fall under these rules. If we scroll down to the violence section, we can find the rule that is likely to have led to Strange Journey's box art change. To quote, graphic and or excessive depictions of violence. For example, repeated blows or gunshots inflicted upon people or creatures, violent blows to the head, guns weapons pointed at head, impaling, exploding body parts, guns weapons pointed towards reader audience, depictions of fatal injuries and or suicide, strangulation, choking, inflicting wounds with swords, knives, and kicks to the groin. As the Japanese artwork showed a character pointed a gun directly towards the audience, it is likely that this was why it was changed. Also, if you look to the left of the artwork, you'll notice that a character is shown holding a gun and that this didn't get changed, likely due to the fact it isn't pointed directly towards the audience. As box art changes are something that happens so frequently, it's not really possible to make a video about it every time a game gets its artwork altered outside of Japan. But nonetheless, this is still something that Sensor Gaming will take a look at from time to time, and especially in some of the more extreme cases. If video game localization and censorship is something that you want to keep up to date on, then please make sure to subscribe to the channel for many more videos on subject matters like these. Strange Journey Redux will release for the Nintendo 3DS in May 15th in the US and May 18th over in Europe. Until next time, thank you for watching.